What's a home security system without cameras? If you thought smart homes and smart security were expensive already, just wait until you watch today's video. Cameras are really expensive. Probably one of the most expensive groups of devices that you'll be spending on your smart home and your smart security system. Cameras are one of the most necessary devices in your smart security system, but it is very important that you spend your dollars wisely because not all cameras are created equal because What's a security system without cameras? Hey everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, we always recap our videos so you know exactly where you are in our series. We are talking about smart security systems today. Specifically, we're going to be diving into cameras, both interior and exterior cameras. If you want to know more about smart security, I highly encourage you to go back to the very beginning, watch our smart security system, learn about all the different devices that you should be considering whenever you are looking at a home security system. We are not just a prepackaged, we are DIYers here at Intella Homes and we are diving into all the different devices needed to be able to purchase and execute a beautiful smart security system that you have full control over as well. You can go back even further and watch our basics of a smart home from the very beginning and learn about all the different devices that both double as smart home devices and smart security devices. So you know everything that you need to be purchasing when you're buying and building out a smart home and a smart security system. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's dive into our smart cameras right now. There are two different types of cameras that you can consider for your security system. The first one is something you've probably heard of before, CCTV or closed circuit television. Basically these are cameras that are on a closed loop. Generally, they're going to be hardwired. They don't generally use the internet to connect. They're on a closed circuit system, and you can only view these cameras from inside your home. You generally have a base station that everything is brought to, a hard drive everything is brought to, and you view the cameras there. Your other option are Wi-Fi cameras, which are probably the cameras you're considering, and those are the ones that we're specifically going to be talking about today. But I did want to take a moment and talk about CCTV. Some of the pros to CCTV is how secure they are. Some people really like the capability to be able to have a closed circuit system where nobody can hack into the cameras and view them from outside your home. The biggest drawback though is again, you cannot view them from outside your home. There are ways you can put them on a server so that you can view the server from the exterior, but at that point, you might as well just go get a Wi-Fi camera instead of a CCTV. I will show a few options for CCTV. There are some really great ones out there. I've tried considering them, but just the idea of hardwiring everything in, connecting, drilling holes in my home to connect the wires to power was just a lot of work. And most of us don't want that type of headache when setting up cameras, especially when you're potentially setting up five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 cameras. I don't know how big your home is. I don't know all the area you want to cover. That could be a lot of ground that you're trying to cover. And then a lot of times too, you're having to bring those cameras all the way back to the main system. You actually have to landline style connect them into the main base. It's a lot of work for what you're getting out of it and the lack of features that you're going to have when it comes to security. We're talking smart security, not basic security here. CCTV is an option if you really wanted something super secure, something that is unable to be hacked into. We'll use that term lo loosely, but there is an option you can go with that route. There is that option you can go with that route. Now, Wi-Fi cameras. What's the difference between CCTV and Wi-Fi cameras? Well, Wi-Fi cameras are generally your wireless style cameras. They can be hardline. You can have a power source that is connected to them so that they're always powered. Or you can go the option that I did and you have wireless cameras. These just connect to my house with this little screw here and these are wireless cameras. I also have interior cameras where these are actually connected to a power source at all times. They make great options nowadays with solar panels attached to them. I know the this camera that I have here has the ability to connect its power source here on the back, and then you can connect it to a solar panel. So basically it's always charged. They make new ones now where like this is the top of it and they actually build a solar panel directly into this camera. So you don't need the auxiliary one, 
but it's super awesome because your camera is always powered. What's also great about Wi-Fi cameras is you have the ability for notifications. You get them directly to your cell phone or whatever device you might be using. You can get alarm notifications as well if somebody's there and they're not supposed to be, or just general notifications that somebody is in view of the camera. Of course, along with that, you get the ability to view them remotely. So you could just pick up your phone or a device and log directly into the app or the website and view those cameras at any point in time. And generally speaking with Wi-Fi cameras, you have the ability for unlimited storage. Now you don't always utilize this storage. Really when you're utilizing the storage is just for a recent backup of what's happening. So if you needed to go back 30, 60, 90 days, cameras have different options of how recent or how much time that they keep stored in the cloud. You can also save clips directly. So if you wanted a hard copy, hard copy of the clip, you can. I've done that personally where I've saved clips and uh, saved them to my phone basically so that I can view them later. Generally, it's kind of funny stuff that I save. Or if the police needed something, you could always clip it and save it and give it to them if you had a break-in or something like that. As I mentioned, we're going to be spending most of our time on Wi-Fi cameras versus CCTV. So let's dive into why and what is the purpose of Wi-Fi cameras. So what's the purpose of having cameras on your home? The biggest reason is just to be able to have an extra set of eyes that are always viewing the interior or exterior of your home. Most people just go the exterior route. I personally went the interior route as well. As I mentioned and showed, I already have a couple of these interior cameras. Most all cameras nowadays come with night vision already equipped. So you're going to be able to see things perfectly during the day and very well at night. The other thing that they can track for us is people so that you can get specific people notifications and some cameras come with the ability to track animals. So it's going to give you a different style notification if they see an animal versus a person. And then kind of like the doorbell camera that we've already discussed in a previous video, we also love to be able to track our packages. For instance, I have a camera that is on the exterior front of my home that gives me the ability to see the road directly in front of my house so I can see if somebody's pulling up to my house. And if I need to sign for a package, I can run downstairs sometimes even before they make it to my own door. Now, if you are a short viewer, go back and take a moment, watch my video as to what cameras are actually for. As I mentioned, we're usually using them for security, but in most cases, we're just watching the moose eat the snow off my front porch. Why would you put cameras on the exterior of your home? The biggest reason is for security. If somebody enters your property, you can see what's happening. You have a recorded image as to what's happening. What's also great is cameras come with microphones and speakers. So not only can you hear what's happening outside, you can talk to people outside. I've done this many times where I've talked to people outside uh, with my camera or just even my doorbell. It's really great because you can give people warnings or you can find out why people are here not just through a doorbell, but through regular cameras as well. Having cameras on the exterior of our home give us a 360 degree view around what's happening on our home. Right now, there's only two blind spots that I have, but even then you still have to cross through at least one camera to be able to get into those blind spots. So it makes it really great. And I feel more protected at home with being able to see what's happening outside my home at pretty much all times. The other place that I encourage people to get cameras are on the interior of your home. Now this might seem a little bit weird because why would you want to watch your own family or watch when you have guests here? Well, it's not just that weird factor. I've done it many times. I have small children. And if I ever have to leave the room, I've got a camera in the downstairs of my house so that I can watch them. Most indoor cameras nowadays also have cry detectors. So if your child starts crying, you can get notifications that way. Another really cool feature is the animal tracking. So if you have small animals at home or big animals that you don't want on your couch, uh, you have the ability to send out a notification whenever that animal reaches that zone. So you can mark a zone around your couch or on your couch in this case to let you know when your animal's on the couch. You can even set up automated responses. So when they enter these areas, it tells them to get off the couch and it's in your own voice so that they will hopefully listen. A lot of interior cameras also have the ability to go away. So it's kind of hard to see here, but here's the actual camera lens. And this camera, if it pans downwards like this, has no way to see. It's actually looking into this plastic part right here. Granted, this is the storage. It does have an internal storage. 
But whenever I want to disable the camera or make it so that people think I'm not watching them, I can disable it so that the camera lens is completely hidden. So you can't see either on the phone and you can clearly see as a person looking at the camera that nobody can actually see you. So there is a lot of privacy built in to these cameras so it doesn't feel like you're watching people all the time. The other reason why is let's say somebody does get inside your home. You now have a recording because this is always plugged into power. I can record this 24 seven. So this camera is always recording inside my home. So all the different events that happen, whether it be something happened to my children, or even if somebody did happen to break into my home, I can go back and retrieve that footage within a 30 day period. I can then like my other cameras, download it to my phone. So I have that clip saved permanently. What's also really great is because this has an internal storage on it, I could always pull this SD card and use it and prevent it from just going to the cloud and losing that information. Now, again, with cameras, how often are we actually using them for the purpose they were intended? Mostly very little. Most of the time, my wife and I are going back and trying to find the funny things that happened in our home, like my son trying to grab something off a table and tipping the entire cup of smoothie on his face. We might or might not have saved that clip permanently. Cameras both interior and exterior wise have a plethora of uses. They can be used to go back and retrieve all of the various funny moments that happen or bad things that happen, or again, just to be able to view what might have happened inside your home. As I mentioned, we go and look back on what happened to our children. And there's, there's plenty of times where our child's crying and we want to know what happened. We have the ability to go back and watch these clips. So again, it's not just for home security and making sure you can see what's happening in or outside of your home in case of an intruder. There's also plenty of practical day-to-day -day applications that you can use them for. Another great thing that I've started using my cameras for is because they have facial recognition or human tracking or animal tracking, this means that you can opt these into automations. So automations could be used when your cameras detect somebody or something. I've started setting up automations so that if my camera detects a person in the middle of the night, that all of the exterior lights on my home are going to turn up to full brightness. So it seems like I'm awake and I see you and it's going to hopefully deter an intruder from getting inside my home. Another thing I'm trying to use my cameras for is the ability to use it like a presence detector. If you've watched my video on motion detectors, you somewhat understand what a presence detector is. Cameras have the ability to detect a person, so I should be able to set up automation so that when somebody enters that area or that camera detects that type of person, then I should be able to run an automation based on that. And when it's no longer detecting that person, that automation can end or we could do something else. Now the big question, which cameras are right for you? As I mentioned, I think interior cameras are a great option. This is Eufy's pan and tilt camera. They have two different versions. They have one that's just a stationary and then they have this one. This one has a kind of hard to see. If I hold this still, you can see this has a almost 360 degree swivel on it. It also has the ability to go up and down in here. So this camera has the ability to be mounted almost anywhere inside your home. And then you can see almost anything in your home because it has the ability to move. Exterior cameras come in a huge amount of options. So again, this is a Eufy camera. They do make it now where the solar panel is built directly into the top right here for you. So you don't need to buy the exterior solar panel. These ones last for up to about six months on one charge. I think since I've owned these, I've only charged them two, maybe three times, but they do get fairly expensive because a lot of times you have to have a base station that actually houses all of the information. And that's what's going to notify you if somebody goes in front of the camera or there's some type of notification going out. It's not actually coming from the camera. The camera's talking to the base station itself. Wi-Fi cameras like these are going to be a bit more expensive because again, of what's built into them. But I do think it's a really great option that you should be considering is going with a Wi-Fi camera that has some type of solar panel built directly into it. So you're not having to get down and remove the camera many times a year and recharge it. I am looking forward to getting the new solar panel options here in the future, but for right now, I'm gonna keep these ones and keep using them because there's no reason to replace it since they work so well. And again, I'm not having to charge these very often.
as of right now. Definitely take a moment and go check out either Eufy or Arlo when it comes to your security cameras. Both of them are really great options. I personally use Eufy. I've loved them since I've got them and I spent a very long time doing my own research before I decided to purchase them. But that is going to be all for today's video. I thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up video if you enjoyed today's video. Share this with a friend who is considering purchasing smart security cameras. Hit that notification button so you know every time that I'm dropping a new video. And then don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It means so much. It helps out the algorithm so much and means a ton to me whenever you do these things for me. I hope to see you guys again here next week as we wrap up our smart security system videos and we finish out building a smart security system. My name is Ian. We'll hope to see you guys next week. Bye-bye.